Yo guys, OCP kit here. Yo guys, OCP here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. And today, I'm giving you my World Cup prediction. I'm basically gonna. I sent a tweet out earlier in the week asking who do you think will win, and they were my top three in Germany, Brazil, and Spain. And yeah, the vote was actually other that actually had the majority. Only just the the main vote was Germany, but people said other, funnily enough. I mean, I don't know whether it's because football's gone crazy, like the World Cup is here and football's gone crazy. They've they don't no one's really even talking about Germany. No one's talking about everyone's talking about Brazil and everyone's talking about France, I think. That's where the main like other contingent came from. Also Belgium and maybe Argentina as well, you can throw in there. But France, I don't think they're gonna win simply because it's a bit like Belgium, they're a team of individuals. Like, you saw that at the Euro final, like, they could have easily won if they were a team like Germany. But even Portugal were better. No, no one's talking about Portugal. Oh my God, there's so much to go into. I could spend all day, guys, and I had my coat on because I was going to do this video outside, but loads of stuff's happening in my, gar in my garden, so I'm going to just quickly do it in here. I need to get this up because World Cup starts tomorrow. This is the first episode of World Cup and chill. Well, it's not really chilled out because I'm rushing to predict who I think is going to win, but yeah. Anyway, nevertheless, I think that... France aren't going to win because uh, it's tough. On paper, you'd say France and Belgium possibly have the strongest squads even. I'd say Belgium, uh, the best 11 is probably the Belgium side because there is no weakness at all. Even compared to the German uh, side, you'd say they're lacking in a brilliant world-class striker and they don't really have a left back that's that's elite class really. Uh, France, I just don't think they perform as a team as they've shown in the past few tournaments. I just really don't think when it when it really comes to the final stages, I can just see them going out in the quarterfinals. Same with Belgium, like they have done. I've bet on Belgium the last two major tournaments, the last World Cup and the Euros. They really let me down last time going out to Wales. They bottle it when it comes to the to the final stage. I love Belgium and if it's not England to win I actually want Belgium to win because of the Spurs players there but that's the way it is. I think Portugal are a better unit defensively. They don't have the talent, they don't have the big big names but they are so solid and they actually have a really good record under their international manager at the moment. I don't know his name but it's some old bloke and he is very very good. He's got them very organised and at the end of the day they're probably my outsiders. You can call them outsiders because I know they won the Euros, but they're at worse odds to win the competition than England. So, I mean, come on. They they do have, obviously, Ronaldo. And at the end of the day, you need a match winner if you're going to win a trophy, if you're going to win a major tournament anyway. And they have that in Ronaldo. And the rest of the team is just solid overall. They don't really have many weaknesses. So, I'd say Portugal... Croatia with Modric, Rakitic, Perisic, Mandzukic, they've got a solid side. I could see them as outsiders to reach the semi-final, but yeah, I c can't see it. Uh, the only other outsider I can see doing well is Colombia. Uh, they did very well in qualifying and they I could honestly see them knocking out England the if they had an easier draw, easier route to the final, then I could see them even potentially going all the way. I, I highly rate them. I think they play really good football, they work well as a team, and their current form's really, really good. They beat France in a friendly, I mean, that's friendly, but still, at the last World Cup, they were amazing, probably the best team to watch until, yeah. So, you know, it's gonna be really tough. There's a lot of good teams. Uh, the only reason why I can't see Colombia winning is because that on their route to the final, they will come across in the quarterfinals either Germany or Brazil if everything pans out on paper. And in the poll, I did put Brazil, Spain and Germany because they are the last winners 
of the World Cups. <coughs> Italy, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, you, you, no one's mentioning Spain. Uh, <laughs> I better mention Spain now because um, they didn't get. I don't think they got any vote. They got barely any votes in my in my vote, and it's because yeah, no one really rates their their full-on strike force. It's either Diego Costa or yeah, Iago Aspas. I mean, it's not like the best ever, and. Um, but I put them in there because they won the 2012 World Cup, obviously, and their midfield is so good. Like, the, the squad depth they have in midfield is better than anyone's, and also their defence is absolutely rock solid. If you've got PK Ramos and De Gea in goal, best goalie in the world in goal, like, they, they're going to do well, and they will be there at the quarterfinals at least. I can see them, I can see them beating Portugal in the group stage. That's on Friday, actually. That's the main match to look out for on Friday. But I don't know if, if say Spain and Portugal come up somehow get each other like in a third place playoff or something like that. I can see that happening. Then I can see Portugal winning because they have the match winner in Ronaldo. That's the way I see it. Um, Brazil, they're probably most people's favourites to win. Uh, I, I have Neymar, but. Uh, just the 7-1 against Germany. If you compare the German team to the Brazilian team, player for player, not better, but Germany's team is just an absolute machine and that's why they won the last World Cup. Their strikers aren't the best, but they turn up. They, they're not the most talented, skillful players, but they just score the boring goals and they leave the nice, fancy goals for the midfield to score and... Yeah, the, the midfield of of Kroos and Özil. Özil plays very well for international. They are the Meister Shaft, if that's the right name, and I can just see them winning, going all the way again. Uh, Real Madrid did it in the Champions League for the third time in a row. I can see Germany being the first time, and it'll be the first time in absolutely ages, like absolutely ages, to retain the World Cup. That's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm back guys, the World Cup starts tomorrow, I can't wait, I bet you can't wait. Uh, thanks for watching the video, if you want to see more videos to do with the World Cup, definitely leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.